Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at fault and update domains. So, an availability zone uh, in an Azure region is a combination of a fault domain and an update domain. So, a fault domain is a logical grouping of hardware to avoid a single point of failure within an AZ. Uh, and so, basically, it's a group of virtual machines that share uh, a common power source and network switch. Um, the reason why Azure does this is that so, if part of the data center fails, then other servers won't be taken down with it. So let's say there's a fire within the data center in one particular region, it won't affect uh, other hardware that is running. Then you have update domains. And so update domains is when Azure needs to apply updates to the underlying hardware and software. Um, but the thing is, is that because Azure is updating them, it takes these machines offline. So the idea is that if you run your workloads in um, another, uh, like another domain, in the update domain, not, neither domain will be updated at the exact same time. And that way you won't have downtime because of updates. And so the way fault domains and update domains work is that you use availability sets. So availability sets is a logical grouping that you can use in Azure to ensure that your VMs you place in the availability set are in different fault update domains to avoid downtime. And just to really help with that visual uh, here, um, what I'm going to do is just show you this here. So each virtual machine and availability set is assigned a fault domain and an update domain. And so what you're looking at here is uh, you see those gray boxes? Those are racks uh, in your data center. A rack is just like it, it's like a closet for um, servers, and all those servers sit on top of each other. And so each of those servers um, uh, uh, in that is where your virtual machine might be deployed. So if you are deployed, if you have a server and it's deployed in fault domain zero and fault domain one, it could be in any of the, the, the servers on that rack. Uh, but then update domains, you just might have very particular servers um, in that rack that are those update domains. So hopefully that makes that a bit clear. I know it's a little bit confusing, but just remember the concept be behind fault domains and update domains. And just to give you a visual of what it would look like in the Azure portal, uh, if you go ahead and create availability set, you would name it. So here I call it production. And you would choose the fault domains and you would choose the update domains. And so I believe that what you're doing there is that you're choosing the amount of domains that you want uh, your, your virtual machines to be distributed across. And I keep on saying virtual machine, that's your server, okay? So if you say um, two fault domains, that means that when you launch two servers and you put them into that availability set, they're gonna be across two, fault, uh, two different fault domains. And if you launch five servers um, and your update domains is at five, that means it's gonna be across five different uh, servers that are isolated from each other. So hopefully that makes sense, but that's fault and update domains. So I quickly just wanted to show you the fault and update domains that are in uh, Azure here. So the idea is if you're launching a virtual machine uh, and you want to uh, control uh, the availability set, what you can do is you can go um, to down to here where we have availability options. We're gonna drop it down and choose availability set. Uh, and then we don't have an availability set. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one if I just click there. And so when we create a set, we can say, you know, uh, production set. And so we have these two uh, these two um, uh, dialogues here. And so what, what it is, is when you say there's three uh, fault domains, that means that if you were to launch three VMs and you put them all into this uh, availability set, it'll be spread across three different racks so that if a rack goes out, um, two other racks are operational and so your service will remain available. And then down below, it's the same thing. Uh, on a rack, there might be multiple machines and certain machines um, uh, will, will will be scheduled for updates, but they won't all be updated at the same time. So if you're saying this, you'll say spread it across five machines, uh, and that's all there really is to it. So I just wanted to show you where that was uh, when you actually launch it for a virtual machine.